On this episode of Wangle's Workshop, I'll be making a small utility knife. On this channel, I tell the story behind various knife builds. If that sounds like something that interests you, please consider subscribing. Now the goal here was to make something really compact, but that still had a nice grip in your hand. So I designed it out and this is basically going to be like a beater for work, something that I can just, you know, beat up and, and really just not have to worry about it. I'm making it out of 1084 high carbon steel. And as you can see, I traced out the template and now I'm cutting it to shape using a grinding wheel. Now I'll bring the knife over to the belt sander to dial in the profiles and then I will finish it out with some files. And now what I do as my last step of profiling is I come back to my belt sander and I turn it horizontal and I grind all the edges parallel to the length of the blade. This makes it easier to mark out any of the bevel lines on the edges. Now I'm going to measure out and center punch the weight reduction holes. I'm actually going to do the two outside ones first because all three holes are going to be different sizes and I didn't want to screw up the layout so I'll drill those two first and then I'll come back and measure to center from those two holes and drill the center hole. Using some layout fluid and a drill bit, I will mark out the center lines, which are the apex of where I will grind the bevel. To grind the bevels, I'll start out by taking a super aggressive angle and grinding straight to the center line. Once I've done that on both sides, then I can proceed to grind the bevels. Now this is the first knife that I've grinded using a combination of freehand grinding uh, mixed with a work rest. The reason for that is Dennis from Tyrol Knife Works recently put out a video on how to freehand grind specifically with the um, help of a work rest and using proper technique. I really think that video helped up my freehand grinding game, and I would definitely recommend checking it out if you're interested. That's uh, Tyrell Knifeworks. He really has an awesome channel, so go check it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and chamfer all the edges of the knife as this is not getting scale so it needs to be nice and rounded and feel good in the hand. For the heat treatment, I will start off by doing two normalization cycles where I bring the knife up to non-magnetic and let it air cool. After that, I'll bring the knife up to non-magnetic or just pass it a little bit and I will hold it at that temperature and that color for about 5-10 to 10 minutes and then I'll quench the knife. Now I'll check the knife with a file to ensure that the steel hardened. After that, I will put it in the oven at 400 degrees for two cycles of two hours to temper the steel. Now I need to clean the knife up, so I will head back to the belt sander and grind the knife from 120 grit up through 400 grit. 
and then I will run it through the surface conditioning belts and then it'll be ready for the acid bath. To etch the carbon steel, I will be using ferric chloride and I will clean the knife very well prior to putting it in here. And then once you take it out, you need to make sure you neutralize the acid with baking soda or something of that sort. After the knife is cleaned off from the acid, I will spray it down with WD-40 and put it into the rock tumbler and shake it up a bit to give it a stone wash. Now the last thing to do is put an edge on the knife. I will go back to the belt sander and start with a 120 grit belt. It's super important that you do quick passes when you're doing this because the knife is already heat treated so you don't want to heat the knife up at all. Now I'll go back and forth from one side to the other building up a, the bevel and an even burr all the way down the blade. Once I have an even burr I will move to my 400 grit belt. After the 400 grit belt I will go to a honing rod to remove the burr from the knife and then I will strop it on a leather strop. After that, the knife should be sharp. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. And if you want to be notified when I upload new videos, make sure you hit the notification bell. As always, thank you so much for watching.